Mark Schleisman, a 2022 master pork producer, farms outside of Lake City in Calhoun County. Our hog operation has evolved over time. Right now we're wean to finish. Uh, we source all of our wean pigs out of a farm in Colorado. We receive them in about 12 pounds, uh, market about 34,000 pigs a year. Involved in the operation is my dad and uncles. Uh, they help us spring and fall, and my dad still likes to feed cattle. And then we have my son, Matthew, my son Landon, are both involved in the operation. Son-in-law, Colby. Uh, my daughter, Brandy, does the financials of the operation in terms of paying bills and tracking all that information. We have two hired helpers that work on the farm for us, and everything from the crop to the pigs. That would be Colin Miller and Jacob Schultz. We're pretty diversified in terms of crops. What we grow is popcorn, popcorn seed, corn, and soybeans. Mark's journey in and around farming could be called unconventional, but he has never been away from agriculture. When I was growing up on the farm, I started with pigs. Uh, I can probably about 10 years old or so, I had a, you know, maybe got a runt pig from my dad and uncles and would nurse it back to life in an, an old chicken house or something like that to get it going. And over time that grew where I had a couple sows and uh, my first sow I remember clearly was a Hampshire sow and I named it after my sister Beth. Just kind of a joke then after that, I named all my sows after my sisters and even my girlfriend that turned into my wife at the time. Uh, so I had a Melissa sow as well. After college, I ended up uh, being an agronomist in western Nebraska. That's where I started my work with popcorn as an agronomist. About uh, 12 years ago, my son and son-in-law wanted to come home and farm. Uh, my dad and uncles were ready to retire. Uh, so we bought out their operation, their hogs. Uh, we fed pigs for a while. About five years ago, we went 100% our own. So a little bit non-traditional. I've only been farming full-time about 12 years but really I've never left the farm. Farming for Mark is and always has been a function for the family. My wife is Melissa. Uh, we actually were high school sweethearts. Over all those years, we had seven kids, ranging from my oldest being Brandy, uh, Luke, a son who's passed away, and we had twins, Matthew and Cassie, uh, which Matthew's back on the farm. Cassie is, uh, she's a home health care nurse, and we have Blair, and Kylie, who are in high school and eighth grade. Over the years, Mark has looked for ways to be a good steward of his land. We started with cover crops, mainly because it had a big financial impact on our, our operation through cattle. But we also have filter strips. Another sustainability thing that we've done is solar panels and a wind turbine. We have bioreactors, we have saturated buffers. We have put up fences to exclude cows from creeks to better protect the water resource there. We just built a water reuse pond where we actually capture the water from a, a county tile and then we take that water and irrigate a field. And we just had uh, some preliminary measurements on those and we were seeing 40 to 60 percent reduction in nitrates going into the river because of that. In the local community, Mark has been part of the resurgence of the Calhoun County pork producers. I see younger people being involved in that and being proud of their operations and promoting pork and. Uh, wanting to be involved in the industry, even beyond the local level, I see interest. And that's good to see from the next generation coming. For Mark and his family, the proof is in the pictures. Pigs are at the heart of their farming operation. Pigs are really the basis of our farm. Uh, we like to say they pay the light bill. Um, it's what we wake up every day and go do. My whole crew will go out and do chores in the morning. Uh, then we all get together after that and do whatever else is on the plate, since we're a pretty diversified farm. But pigs are really the basis. 